Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to New Normal Films. This is going to be another Tech with Row episode, and I'm going to be going over Joystick Mapper again. And this is actually going to be, um, it's going to be how to connect the controller. That's the only thing I'm going to be focusing on. If you want to see uh, how to actually uh, set up Joystick Mapper, and how to uh, use it, and how to make yourself connect the buttons with your controller, um, I have another video. Just go to take my Tech Retro uh, playlist, and you'll be able to find it there. It's uh, just called Joystick Mapper, and it's it's a pretty good video. So what I'm gonna do is, um, first I'm just gonna launch Joystick Mapper right here. There, it's launched, and I already showed you guys how to get these uh, examples here. This is the one I created. This is the one I'm gonna use. And you see right down here, it says I'm actually not recording on my desktop. I mean, not on my laptop here screen. I'm just recording with my iPod camera right now so yeah right there it'll show with the joystick mapper it'll say no joystick connected meaning like your controller so in order to connect it's it's you do need it is recommended you use a wired controller like um, I've said that on the, it is possible to connect it wirelessly it is possible like I'm not saying that it's not possible like let's say Xbox 360 controller wirelessly is you have to you have to download this here I mean, you don't have to. I mean, you don't download. You have to purchase this device here. I find it's on Amazon, it's like 11 bucks, 12 bucks. You can ask for your your parents to ask them to buy. They have one for the PlayStation, I believe, and they have one for Xbox. It's just like a wireless receiver that goes into your USB slot of your computer, and it's that's 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 the way you'll have to do if you're trying to get your Xbox 360 wireless controller connected to your PC or your laptop you're gonna have to use you have to buy one of these which is investing about 11 to 5 to probably 5 to 5 probably around 5 to 15 dollars and it's definitely recommended um so what I'm first I'm gonna show you guys uh, there is also another way for PS3 controllers if you're wireless controller it, there's a, it is another way to connect your wireless controller without actually having to buy, buy that device. And I'll have a link in the description on how to do that. It's not one of my videos, but it's uh, somebody uh, else made a video about it. And it's the best video that explains it that I found on a YouTube. So be sure to check out the link in the description if you're a PS3 controller, wireless, trying to connect it. And I believe the video works. I haven't. I don't have PS3, so I'm, I'm Xbox. So I'm not, I don't, I'm not, honestly, I wouldn't really no P PS3 controller and how you would connect that but there is a video that I found that appears to be legit and appears to work so also so I'm gonna get my wired Xbox 360 controller here and I'm gonna connect it right into my USB slot here if I can get it in open okay I'm just gonna set this here and you guys can see right here my controller just con comes on automatically I do have the, the cheap uh, Afterglow controller here, so it's um, that's where I'm using an example. I don't actually use this controller. It'll say no joystick connected at the moment, but once you select uh, what do you want, it'll say one joystick connected, meaning it's registered, and then you actually can check, make sure it's registered by moving the button itself, and you'll see the mouse moving around as well. And that's that's, that's that means it's connected. Then you can just go and you can simply launch your game, whatever game you want to play and uh, from there yeah you'll be set and just play the game from there like Gary's mod which is awesome but yeah um, I hope this video helped you guys I know I know I didn't really show you guys much regarding I just gave you some links and uh, description and uh, be sure to check those out the PS3 controller uh, wireless controller connection uh, hope it helps other than that uh, it's just wired controllers but I would recommend if you want to go uh, if you want to go cheap <laughs> but yeah also but that that wireless receiver is not expensive at all 10 bucks man you could go to your probably your parents once a day ask for a dollar and you'll get that ten dollars but there you are but i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a comment below if any other questions i'll try to respond and make another video regarding it and thank you guys for watching later